Hi boys and girls, today in this video I will be teaching you how to, how to create a crayon leaf texture rubbing artwork using, you guessed it, crayons and leaves. So let's get started. What I did was I went on a nice little nature walk and I collected some different types of leaves. So you're going to need some leaves for this project. I suggest getting as many types of leaves as you can. I have three different kinds of leaves here and I made sure that my leaves are alive. They are not crispy crunchy leaves. They are still somewhat alive. They are bendable and soft. We want to make sure that we have those for our project today. You can see here that these are some basswood leaves. They're also called linden leaves. They come from the basswood or linden tree. I also have some maple leaves here and ginkgo biloba leaves. So those are all different types of trees that the leaves come from. You're also going to need, besides those leaves, you're going to need a piece of paper. Make sure this is a thin piece of paper and not a thick piece of paper like construction paper, otherwise this project won't work. So let's look at our basswood leaf here. You can see there's a nice smooth side, but when we flip it over, there is a very bumpy side with lots of bumpy, bumpy textures. This is the side that we are going to use for our leaf rubbing activity. So I'm going to make sure that my leaf is vein side up, that bumpy side up. I'm placing it underneath my paper. I'm going to put my paper right on top of it and I'm going to just smooth it over and feel where my leaf is. You should be able to feel where the bumpiness of your leaf is under your paper. Okay, it's time to get out your crayons. Hmm. Here are my crayons. I have some silly scent crayons. But you might have just regular old crayons at home. Any crayon will work. This project will also work with colored pencils, but crayon works a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is hold my piece of paper over my leaf. I'm making sure to hold my leaf and paper in place with my one hand. With my other hand, I'm using my crayon to color over my leaf. Whoa, do you see the magic that's happening on my paper right now, boys and girls? The texture from our leaf is showing up on our paper. Holy guacamole, that is cool. It's almost like magic. So I'm just coloring neatly all over the area where my leaf is. Whoa, can you believe it? I created a leaf artwork just by coloring on top of a leaf. It's important that we color over that vein or bumpy side so that that texture shows up. Okay, let's move on to a different leaf now. I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm going to work with this ginkgo biloba leaf. You can see if you look closely, there are very fine lines on this leaf. So I'm going to choose a spot where I want this leaf. I think I'm going to do this over here. And I'm actually going to switch to a different color of crayon. So my leaf is under my paper, bumpy side up. I'm holding my paper down with my non-dominant hand and coloring with my dominant hand. Because I'm right-handed, I'm coloring with that right hand. You can see I didn't press hard enough on one of those areas, so I'm going back in without moving my paper. go. There is my second leaf rubbing from the ginkgo biloba leaf. I'm going to do one more with you all on this video. I'm going to use the leaf that I haven't used yet, which is a big beautiful maple leaf. I'm making sure to feel the bumpy side. I want that bumpy side touching my paper. So bumpy side up. I'm going to do this maple leaf uh, rubbing right here in the upper left hand corner of my paper. Now boys and girls, you can uh, you can decide where you want your leaf rubbings to be. They don't have to be in the same spaces as mine. I want you to be creative and create your own artwork. Don't copy me. 
So again, I'm holding that leaf down and I'm carefully coloring back and forth. I'm not pressing too hard, but I'm not pressing really, really light either. You need some pressure with your crayon so that the beautiful texture of the leaf will transfer onto your paper. Look at my finished leaf artwork. Look at all of those different textures that I created. So boys and girls, if you are in kindergarten, I want you to create three leaf rubbings. You can do more if you'd like. First grade, I want you to create at least four leaf rubbings. Again, you can do more if you would like. And second grade, I want you to create at least five leaf rubbings. And again, you can always do more if you would like. You can leave your background white or you can add a pattern behind your leaf rubbings. It is totally up to you. Boys and girls, I hope you have fun creating these implied textures by, by doing leaf rubbings. And I cannot wait to see your beautiful leaf rubbing artworks. Have fun! Mm -hmm.